Hello children and welcome to class 2 mental maths class. Our first topic is subtraction. What is subtraction? It is the process of taking one number or amount away from the another. For example, your mother gave you four mangoes and you ate one mango. Then how many mangoes are left with you? What will you do here? You'll subtract it. So you will subtract one mango from four mangoes. Four minus one is equal to 3. So, you have 3 mangoes left with you. Now, coming to the next question. You have to take away 5 from 10. What do we get? Take away means you have to subtract. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. So the answer is 5. Now we'll go to our next topic that is ascending and descending order. Now, what is ascending order? Ascending order is increasing order. For example, you have to arrange a few numbers in ascending order. 26, 40, 12 and 2. So, which number will come first? First, you will write down the smallest number. That is 2, then 12, then 26, and then 40. In this way, you have to arrange the numbers in ascending order. Now, what is descending order? Descending order is decreasing order. That is from big to small. Now, I'll give you an example on the board and you have to arrange those numbers in descending order. 45, 88, 12 and 24. Here, you have to arrange these numbers in descending order that is from big to small so first you will write down the biggest number that is 88 then 45 then 24 then 12 in this way, you have to arrange the numbers in descending order. Now, we'll go to our next topic that is ordinal number. What is an ordinal number? An ordinal number refers to a number that indicates the position of things and objects like first, second, third, fourth and so on. We write the ordinal number as for one, we write first. In ordinal number, it is written as first. 
then second. third fourth like this way we write the ordinal number now we'll go to our next topic that is count in fives It is skip counting like for example what you have to do over here if I am writing the number 5 then what will be the next number you have to add on 5 to it so 5 plus 5 is what 10 then again what will be the next number after 10 again you will add 5 to it that is 15. This is how you have to do skip counting or count in fives. Now we'll come to our last topic that is before, after and between. Now what is before? Before means in front. Okay, like what number comes before 5? So what number comes before 5? 4. It comes before 5. The other term which we use for before is predecessor. Now, I am asking you one question. What is the predecessor of 10? 9. As 9 comes before 10, so 9 is the predecessor of 10. Now, what is after? After means behind. The other term used for after is successor. Like, what is the successor of 24? Yes, 25 is the successor of 24 because 25 comes after 24. So, this is how you are going to write the successor of any number. Now, what is between? Between means in the middle. For example, what comes between 22 and 24? Yes, 23 comes between 22 and 24. In this way, you are going to write the numbers which comes in between. So, today we studied about subtraction, ascending and descending order, ordinal numbers, counting by fives, before, after and between. Thank you students for listening to the video so patiently. The worksheets related to the topics will be uploaded on your school website. Kindly go through it and try to solve it. Thank you and take care.